guys, so I got a huge update for you guys. So if any of you watched my last video, it was like a nine minute documentary criticizing, critiquing Ivan Drago's attack on their 11. So you know, I wake up, I check the clan war, obviously we're getting crushed, it, it's over for us. There's a chance we might be able to sneak in a third place here if we get a couple more attacks in before the deadline. So it's not like a complete loss, but we're going to finish with a losing record. It's a couple of wars we could have won that we lost. But one thing I did notice is, so while getting crushed, their 11 managed to get two starred by someone else. But what's interesting, so you see it says 14 Burr at 0 0.1, right? So we got two starred by that guy. And then you go on this guy's base, and lo and behold, he is a Town Hall 7, which I found very interesting. Because when I uploaded the video, like, Ivan Drago's first excuse is like, yeah, hey, I'm a Town Hall 8 going on a max Town Hall 9. What was I supposed to do? He's like, okay, wh whatever, buddy, right? And then I go on the video, and I go on the replay, and then it says he's got two star, which that doesn't make sense to me. Like, if Ivan Drago said he couldn't do anything, then how was a whole town hall lower be able to two-star him? So let's, let's, let's check out this bad boy. Let's see what happened here. Maybe there was some, like, unknown sorcery he used. It's like some witchcraft, you know? Alright. Okay. So go on the replay. He's taking his time to deploy his troops. That's okay. This is a lot of strategic thinking here. You know, he's got to improve on upon Ivan Drago's perfectly executed attack. On the archer raider, no complaints. So you're trying to bait out the trap. Okay. Okay. And then, interesting, he places down a heal spell, and then he places down all of his giants next to the expo, which I find very strange, because I thought you were supposed to place your giants as far away from the expo as possible, so they have more time to kill you. So I found this a very interesting approach compared to Ivan Drago. Okay, so he spams, like, all of his troops in one area, which, there was, like, a giant bomb, he'd be screwed, but at least he pl placed down an archer, so he could bait out the giant bomb. So I don't have any complaints here, okay. So they were wrecking through the bases, tearing through the middle. Some of the wizards are on the uh, top area. They're a little concerning. They could easily get sniped right there. Yep, the other expo is taking them out. Yeah, probably would have done something about the other expo. That's okay. That's okay. This is still a much far better start than I've drawn. He already got the town hall down, so that's already at a faster pace than we saw on this the, his predecessor attacking the same base. Okay, so he is wrecking through the base, getting all the resources on the outside. I already looking to achieve a two star here. So he has already surpassed and exceeded Ivan Drago, which I didn't know was humanly possible. I thought, according to Ivan Drago, the max you could get on this base was a one star given the situation that, you know, <clears throat> it's a whole town hall above him. So this is two town halls above this guy, and he had managed to get two stars. I don't even know how this is happening. But lo and behold, here we are. And he goes for bowlers too instead of root rider, which I found interesting. Which has sort of worked for what he's trying to do here. I think a root rider still would have worked. He would have gotten less damage, but it also might have been able to tank for more buildings while the wizards did the damage dealing. But either way, it's it worked. And, you know, I could criticize his placement here. I'm not sure he would have gotten a three star regardless because, you know, two town halls below, that's like, even for a base to lay out this awful, that's when you start questioning it might not be possible just because. Even like a wizard tower and archer tower will be able to take out your troops relatively quickly when there's that much of a gap. But hey, he got he got the sixty two percent right. Remarkable. All right, so uh, he managed to do the unthinkable. Uh, I'm not interested to see what Ivan Drago has to say after this, but that's all I had to say. See ya.